Hello. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the effects of being picked on in, uh, in you know, uh, school situations, so you know, bullying and things like that. So, first question: How does bullying make someone feel? Oh gosh, wow, they've got um, it makes you feel low self-esteem, low self-confidence. Um, gosh, sometimes it makes you depressed, angry, not worthy, yeah. um, sad, fearful. Yeah. It, it can affect how they eat, how they sleep. Um, Obviously, yeah. you know, the other school refuses to yeah. start with something very small and build up and yeah, learn. So it gives you a level of love. But some of them talk and they come to speak to you, so it's definitely ways of making sure they're definitely getting the right person. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's quite hard for them to talk, isn't it? Yeah, because they are reminded of things that happened to them that can be quite traumatic. Mm -hmm. And who would be the right person to talk to about this? Uh, well, somebody they trust, obviously. Um, I think sometimes you think that peer groups aren't the ones to write people. No. Because you always get different people within friendship groups, don't you? And they all have a different opinion on yeah. um, how they perceive bullying or a bully. Yeah, I've got quite a good list here as well. We, Kelly and I experience lots of groups of girls, especially, don't we? Where you always get bullied. And then you probably get the smarter, he's the person who's in the training group. Then you get the helpers around the bully by joining in, followers. And then we've got something we call the butterfly, which sits from friend to friend. So I think quite often the child has to be really conscious who they're sharing it with. Yeah. We, have, we have quite a few of those groups because then it becomes just gossip mm -hmm. for the other group. Now, they're losing what we call empathy. Um, the other person, they're just seeing it as a work of drama, a bit of action, but it has such a massive impact on the poor children that are being bullied. Um, so the gossip is probably the most dangerous person in that, yeah, to be honest. Because when we get the actual perpetrator and bully together in the room, um, or the victim, sorry, and the bully, um, quite often we feel it's the people around the peripherals that are causing this yeah. problem. They? Yeah, they, yeah, they interfere on really what's happened or what's been said so mm. they like to kind of possibly exaggerate what's happened or what's been said and that then filters outside the group around other people. Yeah. Okay. And what characteristics would make a bully? Well quite hard. Yeah, I think environment, their environment and what they experience. Yeah. Um, insecurity, loneliness, wanting to just fit in, to be honest, being part of whatever the cool group is, you say that, that expression. Um, because we try and teach children to love themselves first, they're the most important person in their lives. And there's nothing um, so as, a, as a cool group, is there? No, gosh, there, 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 there isn't a cool group. No, but they try so hard to be part of that group, don't they? Which is really yeah. hard to watch because. Um, they need to just learn to love themselves and find the best things about themselves. So we encourage empathy here. Stop, sorry, um, resilience, um, don't we? We teach them to love themselves, find hobbies that they like, and, and groups yeah. to belong and to. And follow what they feel is right. Yes. Yeah. Don't always go along with other people. What they think they what should do. Yeah. yeah. Um, often, I have seen people that are bullied, they're being abused themselves, I think a lot of people do in this home environment. Yeah. Yeah. Siblings, siblings can be awful bullies, can't they? And then they come into school and they get it out on other people who think it's okay. Um, but but having, um, having children come to school regularly is so important, so attendance is so important, so we can see lots of patterns and it's going to be trapped in with children. So if they've been away maybe with parents or family that have been trapped and they live in different parts, they can come just the country. And you can see sometimes if they don't come on the Monday, something might have happened that weekend, or I don't know. It's a very distracting thing with emotions for children. We build into the curriculum lots of emotional well being and support. We have cancer support again, Elsa and Elsa, the other side from the side. So yeah, we do a lot of We do, we do. Them. And we talk to them and we give them time. Um, and if you know, yeah. they need to come see us, we're here throughout the day. So it's not just a no, there is lots of help here. I do feel verbal bullying is still the hardest to keep the child Cool. Um, and what are the ways of 
different kinds of support someone can get if they're being constantly harassed by a group of people. That all of really well, we encourage them to walk away straight away, come here, we're known as Gateway, which is a um, space on site, we're very lucky to have this place, it's a holistic um, therapy centre for children just to come to, we have lots of children doing different curriculums here. We also have a place called The Lodge, which is where all the counsellors are known to support a space, so they are encouraged to be house space as well. And it, you know, they just need to make sure that if people are continuous with their bullying, they report it, they write a statement, they come and speak to us, and then if needs be, we'll have a reported meeting to try and sort out the problem if we can. Mm. But quite often they're quite emotional, so they make sure yeah. that every person wants it's to be involved in that. Yeah, and they're all listened to as an individual. <coughs> yeah. Okay. And just lastly, how would you, how would someone, as you said earlier, you, there are different kinds of people who are involved with the harassment of the child, such as the butterfly and the groupies and things like that. Yeah. How would you identify those people? They, they do, they do show themselves because they stand out, because they're very confident, they um, like to be heard, they're very loud. Um, they tend to have people following them as opposed to them following others. Yeah. And they, they're just genu genuinely quite a confident person. And they're the ones that don't seem to get kept caught, are they? Yeah. Because they, right. everyone wants to be their friend and nobody wants to snitch, which is, oh, we hate that word. There's no such thing as snitch. snitch. We say the snitch is the hero in our world because yeah. they can they can um, stop somebody from being bullied and therefore allow that person to grow into a lovely person and have a good future and yeah. not carry that bullying with them for the rest of And the also world. they help to stop it happening. Yeah. So although people think they're being a snitch, actually being a snitch is a good thing yeah. because we can stop it and then we can stop the person mm. who's doing the bullying and the person receiving being bullied. We can hopefully stop it before it gets too serious. But we have lots of support in school. I think we do an amazing job. We have our anti bullying ambassadors, which you will want once upon a time, do you? Still have a photo of some great ones? Yeah. You're excellent. And I think peers hearing from peers and same age group is really important as well because you have lots of adults around the school which the children trust. But it's always really important to have that peer on peer support yeah. as well. And we have vertical tutoring here, which I think is brilliant because you've got the older children in the tutor group, which can support um, the younger children. And, well. Yeah, they can help mentor them mm -hmm. as well. I think one often the thing that we really get challenged with at school is parents. Because obviously a child goes home, we've been parents ourselves, and yeah. you hear one side. Working in a school you get a much rounder picture. A so whether picture. it's the teacher who's the bully, the te you know, the support staff, the child, the, you know, the step the, I don't know, step brothers, this or that, um, we can actually see all sides. So, yeah. yeah, so the parent can say, what are you doing about the bullying? You know, nobody's looking after my son. And it's like, or daughter, well, we need to have the evidence. We can't just yeah, yeah, can't blame just... another child, because that child is somebody else's parent's precious little person who may yeah. be feeling the same, you That's know? Right. Maybe a victim themselves. So, mm -hmm. um, communication is the key, 100%. Mm -hmm. And also, you just can't go on hearsay. It has to be specific. Yeah, we need evidence. Yeah, for mm -hmm. bullying. And bullying isn't, you know, it always used to be repetitive, similar thing. It is and it can be a one-off. We've yeah. actually absolutely experienced that, where it can just be a one-off incident that it's called deep and drag in the child as well. Okay. And as you said, you know, if you've got enough evidence to, um, uh, you know, find out who did it and um, the victims, you know, uh, what he was saying, cross-references with something else that someone else has said and you found the person who did it, if you sat those two people in a room, what would be the hardest thing to, you know, get out of them if you were like asking them, hey, what happened here, you know? Well, we follow a procedure, it's quite simple, isn't yeah. it? What happened, okay, who it affected, and what could you do in the future to change that? So that's three really quite simple questions, yeah. and we follow that, and it's, it's amazing what can come out just from that. So what happened, and we'll talk about, because we only base it on the incident that we know about, and yeah. what we can talk about and they will, it will come out, obviously you have two sides, and it's really important that the victim hears what the bully says and why it happened, and vice versa. And then who is affected, it's usually much 
wider, isn't it? Going to parents, going to teachers, going to siblings. Yeah. Um, and then they realise, wow, the consequences is much bigger. And then they need to decide how to move forward. We can't tell them how to move forward because it's about them. Um, and often they're quite emotional meetings, but it's just, but we do stick with those three things: what happened, who did it affect, and how can we move forward. And I do think when you are speaking to them, once they're in a room and they see the person that they've not been particularly nice to, there is a feeling of guilt and that does definitely come through and you can see that they're really quite then, quite they're really remorseful, quite sorry about what's happened and a lot of the time they will apologise and then... Yeah, we don't expect them we, to, no, that's not but something they do, but they do, do they, they, Kelly's absolutely right, you can see them go, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I, can't I didn't know I did that. you like that. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realise that they I was lose, hurting yeah. them so much. They lose the human angle almost, don't they, because it becomes such a big gossipy thing. And it's the power friends. as well, you know, it's, they, the power, they're yeah. generating <coughs> so much power that's making them feel really big and clever, but actually, when they hear the story of the person they're being mean to, or bullying, it... It, it then changes them as a person because they realise what's being said and how their actions have made somebody else feel. Mm, so, in a sense, when they look them in the face, they realise, oh God, what have I done? Yes, yeah, because yeah. 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 it's easy, it's like hiding behind a computer, isn't it? Hiding behind a, yeah, device, a phone. A phone. Or, it, it's yeah. easy because they're not really seeing the human element, they're mm. just seeing words and they're, oh yeah, they get there in their own little safe environment of their bedroom or wherever they are. And also, when they're put to. together, if that's something that both parties want to happen, more often or not, they will look at each other and they will be really quite remorseful, I think, yeah. and sad that actually their behaviour has led to bullying somebody that they've then seen to be really quite upset. And I think... Often they, they want to be friends as well. Yeah, they you do. You find the bully yeah. and the victim often want to be friends and it's the outside group, group that, 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 controls, yeah. Yeah, that controls something that's happening inside. Yeah. yeah. But sadly, I think the... Because I think one of the things we discussed before you started filming us was that children with disabilities and um, learning support needs are victimised. Yeah, they quite, are victimised. Yeah, sadly, if they can't... Um, simply, especially in Year 7, I think, when they just want to be friends with everybody. Yeah. Um, and some ch children can be very mean, sadly, yeah. And it's quite easy to pick on those children. But we teach, absolutely teach them not to. And, um, they, they move away from it as they get older. Um, and they do yeah. find their own friends and they yeah, then they integrate themselves into the school community where they fit in with the people that they want to be friends with. Yeah. Um, nothing, you know, they don't... And we have an amazing learning them. support assist, um, yeah. support um, staff. staff and support area for the children at Gillard School. Uh, we're very blessed with that, I think, yeah. and the children feel extremely safe. It's about finding a safe environment where they feel happy, safe and they're going to learn to the best of their ability so we do absolutely everything we can but it's bullying oh my gosh if I had a magic wand yeah get rid of it but it's something that happens everywhere doesn't it not just in school workplace and it's really about building up resilience resilience I think. yeah yeah not allowing anyone to think that they can push you down and they're no. better than you no. and usually they want something from you it's usually stems from and jealousy, a jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah okay thank you very much thank, thank you, you.